everybody broadcasting to you live from the CSIR this morning and in a very exciting uh, event that's taking place here. I'm not sure if you are uh, as interested in science as I am, but it's something that not necessarily, I was definitely not the science candidate when I was at school, but it always did intrigue me. But unfortunately, I didn't have the, the marks to go with going into the world of science and studying all these amazing things and then hopefully becoming an inventor. Well, today is the day where all of these incredible scientists gather today to talk about some of the innovations that are uh, developed here in South Africa and also outside of South Africa as well to talk about where the world is going when it comes to science, when it comes to technology and, uh, and the like. So today, the Department of Science and Technology hosting the second International Science Forum for South Africa. And uh, it's a fantastic, fantastic gathering of amazing individuals that come here, they talk about science and the development and how it makes the world a better place place. The theme this year, igniting conversations about science. All right, now joining us on the program to talk a little bit more about this, of course, we've got the Minister of Science and Technology, Naledi Pando. So good to see you and most importantly, happy birthday for yesterday. Thank you very much, Leanne. Morning and morning to your viewers. Really glad to be here. Yeah. Well, I mean, I, you know, I, I suppose any science buff would say this is her birthday present, <laughs> having a forum to discuss all these things in sciences. But uh, jokes aside, this is an exciting moment for you. It's the second year that it's been running and no doubt to have another one. It must have been a success last year. Well, uh, last year we concluded uh, the forum by saying our success will be measured by how many of you come back the following year. And we're really thrilled that the numbers who have uh, indicated uh, attendance, the numbers that we have, have exceeded last year's numbers by over 300. So we're really thrilled that around 1,600 delegates will be present here, scientists, the public, uh, politicians. Uh, you know, we have a few ministers attending. Uh, we have a number of foundations, uh, international foundations that work within the science uh, community. So they're back yeah. and it means that last year was good yeah. that's a, it's a, it's a, it is a good it's a good seal of, of success to see people coming back for more the objective of this I mean is this really to sell South Africa as a as a hub of, of science and technology and innovation is that the aim the, the big aim well that's partially it obviously the country and uh, what it's doing but really it's to build partnerships because science is about international connections it's about diplomacy uh, and it's about getting public awareness of science and having public support for research and development and innovation in our country. So igniting conversations, we're getting everybody talking, but having this large spread of uh, scientists present here, we're getting to know what's happening in the world, what science are people doing, and the sectors are so many, it's health, agriculture, all of them will be touched, the African Space Science Program, so really it's South Africa, we are the hosts, we're doing a lot of work, but as you see from our exhibition, our friends from the United Kingdom, Germany, Swaziland, Uganda, Kenya are also exhibiting uh, here, showcasing their work, because we also want to profile the African continent. The key intention is to say Africa is beginning to do science, we're investing in the area, we want to grow, and we know to have that growth, we must build partnerships across the world. It's vitally important. I mean, these partnerships are amazing. But what I'm finding interesting is the, the, the focus on social sciences, because generally when you think of science, you think of lab coats and you think of test tubes and experiments. But social sciences, the aspect of that and the theme? I think the social sciences and the humanities are extremely important, particularly uh, for ourselves as part of the developing uh, world, still working on what we should look like into the future, trying to understand child development, for example, seeking to improve the quality of education. All of these fall within the domain of humanities and social sciences. And so we thought, let us really bring the social sciences in. Let's understand these issues of labor. How do you get at a minimum wage? How should your economy grow? How do you ensure you have decent work? And what are we doing with respect to the provision of energy, with the social scientists working very closely with engineers and others? So there isn't this disconnect 
connection that we often see yeah. between the natural sciences, the social sciences, and the humanities. And we're trying to draw those connections together. And I can tell you, uh, scientists are extremely excited because suddenly we're talking development, uh, we're talking economic uh, uh, matters, we're talking about society. And when uh, we have the lab codes, we tend to forget that actually there's a whole world out there that needs attention and that research and development can make a contribution to. Minister, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit here because I think we, a lot of us were taken aback, and I certainly was, when we saw the news coming out yesterday that the pass rate for maths when we talk about grade 7s and 9s has now been dropped to 20%. I opened up our interview saying that I, I, I could never get into the sciences because my maths was never strong enough. It really wasn't. I mean, I passed it. I was around the 50% mark. But 20%, I mean, what do you think this is going to do? I mean, when we come to wanting to improve the maths and sciences in South Africa, and yet we keep lowering the standard. Is, is this not um, preventing us from getting this goal that we're talking about, showing what we can do and the innovation that can come when we are aiming too low? Well, um, one would have to find out more about this. I'm, I'm a, a little surprised. Uh, however, I think we have to... Um, really improve our effort at ensuring our children are competent and successful in maths and the uh, sciences. So we should do more. I know that uh, in basic education they are intensifying their strategy which is aimed at improving the performance of children uh, in science and mathematics and we have to do much more because without that competence we're not going to achieve our ambitions uh, uh, in science and technology. So there's no way that we should lower our standard. We actually have to up it. We've got to start doing uh, maths at early childhood development stage. We have to introduce children to language, introduce them to uh, numeracy concepts so that by the time they're teenagers, this is not a frightening subject. It's something they're very comfortable with, they have the basic concepts and they can then move to the next stage. We must do more because we need maths and science to be a successful country. It's the future. It's the way that the world is moving forward. And you can see the very big focus, if you do visit here, of some of the incredible sciences that South Africa is involved in and the technologies. I mean, it blew my mind. I remember hosting an award ceremony here at the CSIR and seeing some of the work that the scientists are doing. It is amazing, South Africa. You should, you should research what we are doing because uh, I think you'll be amazed and surprised, as I was as well. Minister, good luck with the next two days. I know that it's a, it's a big one for you, but it's a nice way to end the year. And thank you very, very much for talking to us here on the program. Thank you. Thank you very much, Leanne. And a uh, happy festive season to you and a happy and safe one to all South Africans. Indeed. Let's take a break here on the program. We'll have the news at seven for you straight after this. Do stay tuned.